What's going on, all you Halloween fanatics and gore hounds? I uh, decided I'm going to do a little quick, very quick uh, do-it-yourself Halloween decor uh, over here. And yes, this does tie into metal detecting, but please bear with me. Um, what it was is I bought this head over here, this little uh, girl I like to call a Viathan. And what I wanted to do with her, I am not able to because of what they made it out of. Uh, it's not going to work. So I got to do something with her. And anyone could just set it up somewhere and that could just be like totally boring. So we are decided that we are going to do something a little bit different. And we are actually going to make a little steak out of her. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you exactly how you guys could do this at home. You probably have some of the material already. Alright, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to put her head like literally right on the steak. But we have to figure out exactly where we want it. Basically we're going to want it right about here. So that's a good spot, I believe. I'm going to put that there just to hold it. But first we're going to have to use the ever-loving glue gun. Which did something I did not want it to do. Got to always make sure you got enough glue. And the glue gun with this type of uh, stuff is very nice, very easy. All you got to do is just glue it and put as much glue on here as possible to keep her from going anywhere. You want to keep her solid. And while we're at it, because I'm, we got all this space up here, we are going to uh, glue some of this veil, I guess, because I guess she was supposed to be a bride at one time. Now, the thing is, is that... You want to use as much glue as possible, but when you're using this type of glue gun, everybody, work quickly because it goes really, really, dries really, really fast. Really fast. And again, like, uh, I'm going to put some of this veil up here at the top. I'll turn this a little bit so you can see it. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna, I would definitely want some veil up at the top, so we're going to put an extra layer of glue here. This will help cover up some of the wood, even though you may want the wood showing. You may even want to paint the wood. Maybe add some blood to it or whatever with some red paint or some white paint. But, like I said, I am just throwing this together at the last minute. It's just a little quick prop. And again, the more glue, the better. You can never have enough glue when you're doing this type of thing. Okay, I realize that just because we put the first layer of glue down, that held it, the head in place. But... After that glue dries, what you want to do is get all the way around underneath. That'll add more stability to the head. Maybe even glue some of the hair to the mask, because it looks like I'm gluing a lot of hair down here. But right now, it seemed to be stiffening up. It's looking like kind of good. It should be able to hold a bit. And when in doubt, if you ever get a little thinking, oh, that's not going to hold. If you ever get that theory, always throw in some Gorilla Glue. Always sticks to everything. So, now that we got this head on here, it does look kind of boring, because all we got is a head and a stick. But then it just totally dawned on me. Boom. Earlier this year, Joe from Michigan Gems, when we were out doing some magnet fishing... I commented her on the chain that she found. I said, hey, cool, you found a chain. That's totally awesome. She ended up throwing it in my bucket, and I told her this is totally going on the display. See, I got some nails that are here. We got a couple of chains. So that, this is a good way to uh, show off your stuff. I'll see if it sits up, and we'll take a look at it. All right, and there you have it. Basically a finished product. Um, yeah, so just grab the head. And you can show off your display. That's what I mean by when you guys are out metal detecting and you pull up something like chains or knives or something that you want to show off. And um, when in doubt, this is a little idea that you could do. Just throw it on wood, stick it into the ground, and you'll be good to go. So this is the first Halloween prop for 2022. Thank you all very much for watching. And once again, thank you very much, Joe from Michigan Gems and Mini Jam, for hooking me up with these year's uh, chains. Thank you all very much for watching. Later.